Welcome back to my channel, Mend with Mare. Okay, if you watch the video, What I Coulda Shoulda, then you know I was affected by the song and disgusted by douche lord John Mayer. Because of this, I, I've i decided that I want to go back and I want to see the lyrics of Dear John. I want to remember what she wrote about him back then, like right after it had occurred and kind of see, compare it against what it could have, should have, to see if her perspective has changed at all. And if there are any more clues about the situation that were given in Dear John. So here we go. <laughs> Revolved around you Counting my footsteps Praying the floor won't fall through Again My mother accused me Of losing my mind But I swore I was fine Okay, really quickly, her mother accused her of losing her mind. Not everybody was in support of this and thought it was out of character maybe for Taylor to be dating him. And then he paints her a blue sky and then turns it back to rain. He's a manipulator. He's the one who's just, um, will pull out the rug from underneath her at any point. If anybody's read the book, um, Open Book by <laughs> Jessica Simpson, you'll know that he did this to her. He's done it to Katy Perry. Um, I mean, he has a long list. Probably everybody else. Jennifer Anderson. Gross. And I lived in your chess game, but you changed the rules every day. Again, manipulation. Wondering which version of you. Okay, so like what I could have should have I should have known goes right back to dear John it's totally John Mayer allegedly for sure um, <laughs> and so she was out somewhere and she cried the whole way home so you know he's just really probably messing with her heart just for the thrill of it I knew that Jessica Simpson would talk about how he felt he was a better um, writer whenever he was going through pain. And so she felt almost as if he would just break up with her or cause issues in the relationship just so that he would have creative inspiration to write songs. So he is using these women, manipulating them emotionally just for his own benefit so that he can write really great music. Okay, John. Okay. Well, maybe it's me. Optimism to blame. I feel you. I'm the same way. I've always been a glass half full type of person, and that's not always been good for me. I really will have blind optimism too. I know what it's like, and it is to be blamed at times, not totally, but you just you you see the best in people. Unfortunately, the saying is true that when people show you who they are, believe them. He's sick. He is sick. He uses people or his music 
for his inspiration. He's like a like a sadist. He derives pleasure from causing somebody else pain. I mean, a sadist usually is from like sexual gratification they get out of being mean to another person. But um, and I don't know if that's totally true. I don't know if that causes him to to hurt people emotionally. If that also does something for him sexually. But regardless, I'm just gonna call him a sadist. You add my name to your long list of traitors who don't understand. And I don't understand. Oh, nobody understands you, John. You're just so amazing. You're just so smart that. You know, people just can't get you. They just can't keep up with you. I can't. Ugh. Look back and regret how I ignored when they said run as fast as you can. I want to say that if any of you are in a relationship or situation and people have been like, run, run. Listen, listen, sometimes there's people out there that I guess I like, don't want you to have the best. Maybe you'll have like one person that might be wrong. But when you have several people saying run as fast as you can, you listen to them. Okay, take it from me. I'm older. Run. Yes, 19 was too young, John Mayer. Yes, 19's too young. It has a teen in it, 19. By your dark, twisted games. Yeah, he really, I think he like really messed with her, really messed with her head. And, and I think that that's a lot of like the haunting and ghosts and things that she feels like come up to her in the middle of the night. I think it comes back to this. And the fact that he knew that she loved him. He pulled her in that deep where she, she loved him. And she's mad at herself. She's saying, I should have known better. So all the girls that he's run dry, and we know that there's a long list of them that he's that he's gone through, and they they're worn out by him. They have tired, lifeless eyes because they burnt. He burnt them out by his dark, twisted games, and him being an expert at sorry and keeping lines blurry and never impressed by her acing, um, by her acing his tests. I mean, this is exactly what Jessica Simpson talked about in her book is to a T like this is exactly how she described him as well so he's a player he likes to mess with people's minds he is a user and so she's saying all those girls they they've been burnt out so let's see what else she says but I took your matches before if I could catch me so don't look now I'm shining And she was so young when she wrote this too. But she's saying like, no, I'm not gonna get burnt out by you. She's gotta give herself more credit. Like she keeps saying I should have known, but she got out of it before he was able to like totally burn her out. And she took his matches, she took her power back and she's shining like fireworks over his sad empty town. Probably his little town in Wyoming that he is obsessed with. His little town in Wyoming. I love that she, she made this 
like she took her power back. And I think we all need to hear it whenever that happens, especially whenever somebody, you know, uses you up and wants to burn you out. She's like, no, 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 no. Wait, you know what that's like whenever you break up with somebody or you have some space from them and you can finally see the relationship clearly because you're not in it every single day. And that's kind of a tactic of narcissistic abuse is that they kind of reel you in and they keep you and manipulate you every day. And they don't want you to take any space from them because if you do, you might get the perspective and clarity around their behavior and what they're actually doing to you. And she's saying like... I, 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 I see it now that I that you're gone, like how messed up it really was. One of the main tactics that you have to use when you want narcissistic abuse to end is to do gray rocking, which is basically where you are as boring as a rock. Like you don't respond to them or if you have to see them, you don't show any emotion. You just keep your like a flat affect. And it sounds like Taylor learned from this situation how, how to do that. So good for her. Don't you think Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Taylor. Mm -hmm. I just want to hold her and hug her and say I'm so sorry that this man did this to you and manipulated you in this way and just it sounds like he played a lot of mind games. I mean and to have like your maybe first your first with somebody like this. Um, man that'll that'll cause you some problems for for years to come. So it kind of makes sense a lot about her relationships and things like that um if she sees fire she's gonna she's gonna jump very quickly like any type of red flag which is a good thing it does feel as if woulda coulda shoulda is a lot more sad i think that that song in that song she recognizes that she was a victim that she was preyed upon and it's something that she really can't let go of because it was so messed up and I don't blame her. And in this song, you know, uh, I just can't believe he was that upset about Dear John because now it's it's like the truth is out, buddy. I hope he can get it why it was ridiculous that he was so, so outraged that she wrote a song, you know? Um, and then that really hurt her reputation, I think, for a while because everybody was like, oh, she just writes breakup songs. And he was probably really happy if people just belittled her down just to that, which isn't even true. So shame on you, John Mayer. And this is just another example where typically females in an industry, um, it'll be more of a negative light on them if they have a relationship that didn't end well or there's like issues that are public. He really didn't get any bad press around anything. No one batted an eye that he dated a 19-year-old, and it wasn't until he said some really awful things in Rolling Stone magazine that were uh, derogatory and racist against black women that he finally got some karma. He's trying a lot to redeem himself, which is annoying. Not only did he say the N-word in the Rolling Stone magazine, but he also... Um, said that he's not open to black women. And he referred to his dick as a white supremacist. I don't care for this man. He can keep making music, but just, he needs to just shut his mouth. Like stop, stop giving interviews and um, stop being gross and racist, okay? I wanna say to any of you women or men out there that have ever had to have a, a, a traumatic first time 
and regret the person that you shared that moment with, that you're not alone and a lot of people feel you and talk and get support as much as possible for it. And I hope you feel some kind of support knowing that there are so many people that have experienced this too. And if you're hurting right now because of it, I'm so sorry. And I'm sending you love. Okay, you all be well and take care. Talk to you soon.